Hi, today I'm joined with Sergio, and what we are going to be talking about is query fan out and how do you know what query fan out searches are being performed in the background when you make a search in the LLMs? Uh, hi, James. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, so um, when uh, fan out ha happens, uh, we need to consider what exactly, what's the context, uh, what kind of topic you're trying to search. Uh, is it a simple one? Like what is the capital of uh, 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 friends or is it more complex? Like what is the best uh, mas massage chair for all the people under a thousand dollars? Depending on the complexity of the query, uh, the system figures out what, what are what is the intent uh, of your search? What exactly are you trying to figure out? What exactly are you trying to get from uh, from, a, from an LLM? And then it does uh, either very small fan out or an extensive fan out. And uh, another issue is also the model. Uh, usually uh, some models don't use a lot of fan outs, uh, others use a lot. Uh, the largest one is uh, perplexity. It uh, could use up to 40 uh, fan outs. Uh, then there is Google, which is up to 20. Uh, and everything else is kind of in, in the middle. So on that way, Google does up to 20. Then as it does up to 20 query fan out phrases and searches, is there a way of knowing, um, like, can you reverse prompt it to say what, what fan out queries did you do? Or how do you know, like, because... Obviously, from the, from a keyword research point of view, it would be good to know what they're doing on the query fan out for a specific term to try and work those into the content. Is there a way of knowing that or not? Uh, there are some ways. Like I know when you do uh, uh, deep research, you can kind of see it. Uh, but uh, the way I usually do it, it's uh, you come, you work from the other end. Like you don't. Uh, optimize your website for a specific query. Uh, you look at potential, uh, what kind of problem you're trying to solve uh, for a user, and then you optimize your content for all potential queries that user might have. So you kind of, uh, you're not analyzing actual keywords, you analyzing the intent and you're trying to fulfill it. Uh, but I'm sure with time, you're gonna be able to figure out uh, uh, actual fan out queries through some uh, LLM tools. Uh, uh, I'm sure. Th I'm sure they're gonna they're gonna pop up sooner or later. Yeah. So obviously, if someone was to do a complex search, are they trying to? So anyone who doesn't understand this, so if you was to do your kind of example, someone's looking for it's got to be under a thousand dollars. It's a gaming chair. It's for the elderly. Are they performing then multiple searches to try and go best gaming chair for the elderly, best gaming chair under? A thousand dollars and stuff like that, and trying to break it down. Or are they trying to? How how does the query fan out work specifically? Uh, what happens is, uh, let's say, uh, uh, best massage share example. Uh, what it's gonna do? It's gonna come up with all uh, related queries. So like uh, best massage share for uh, for pain, best best massage share for sleeping, etc. And then it's gonna fetch Google for every for all of those queries, and it's gonna collect uh, uh, ten results for each query. So if uh, let's say you have uh, twenty different fanouts, uh, you're gonna get uh, a pool of candidates of about two hundred. Uh, uh, potential websites. Uh, and that's when the actual process of uh, uh, analyzing them starts, because in the first stage, uh, uh, LLM would do just uh, light analysis of all uh, key metadata, like uh, uh, the titles, uh, meta description, uh, and the website, website name. Uh, plus, it also takes into account um, uh, the quality signals for, for a website. So when, uh, like in case of Google, let, let's take two examples. Uh, Google and ChatGPT. Uh, when Google, uh, when you're asking uh, Gemini uh, certain thing about massage shares, it fetches Google and it takes uh, uh, trust data from Google. So like if uh, it analyzes how trustworthy the website is, what's the link building profile, what's the link profile, uh, are there any penalties? Uh, and those uh, the things they can, they're considered in the beginning uh, when it gets all those 200 uh, candidates. With the ChatGPT, it's uh, the same story, but with the Bing uh, uh, <clears throat> measurements. And um, uh, after this, it analyzes, it does it uh, uh, the first step of an uh, analysis where it uh, sees if uh, 
what kind of website it can eliminate. So like it has 200 uh, candidates and it removes anywhere between 40 to 80% of those candidates based just on main uh, key metadata. Uh, and after this, it starts actually analyzing websites. So it, and first it does uh, light uh, uh, parsing, just uh, checking uh, the structure, how stable uh, the uh, meaning is. Uh, and uh, when another, 50 to 80% uh, being removed. Then it does complete uh, analysis. And uh, from those websites, uh, it actually compiles the answer. That's good. So obviously with regards to that then, and obviously let's say there was 200 and it's narrowed it down. Is it like a consensus score that the more times you're mentioned, the higher chances you've got to go in? Or is there any sort of weighting system that if you're position number one in a listicle, as opposed to position number 10, have you got a better chance to be cited or is it just come down to the consensus score of whoever's mentioned the most will get put into the LLMs? It depends on the query. If, uh, uh, if you're trying to be mentioned as a brand, let's say if uh, you have a massage chair that uh, wants to be included in a, in, in a listicle uh, in, uh, in an LLM, uh, then yes, the more you mentioned uh, in different listicles, uh, the, the higher the chances because uh, uh, the higher, uh, because uh, LLM sees your uh, product more often and uh, it might consider, okay, like this, this product uh, is mentioned many, many times. Uh, it must be that this product is a good, is a good product. So which it, it's going to include it. And uh, it's also uh, the more, the more you mentioned uh, on different sites, because different sites, they have different uh, uh, speed metrics and different uh, uh, semantic uh, uh, representation so some sites might have uh, high authority and they be much higher in, in, in uh, set piece but their semantics might be all over the speed might, might, might be not the best uh, so the more uh, you show up in those listicles on different websites the higher the chances uh, for your inclusion in uh, in llm uh, a different story is for uh, if you actually want your content to be included on uh, in LLM uh, output, uh, in this case uh, it doesn't. It does matter, uh, but with the same kind of like uh, point of view. Uh, if uh, uh, if LLM sees your version of uh, uh, of a strategy, let's say like let's say it's a subjective strategy how to do X. Uh, if uh, uh, you uh, publish your strategy on different sites and you say like our site is proposing the strategy and LLM will see that strategy, uh, it's gonna extract it. But if you're also gonna have it on your website and you're gonna uh, have high uh, speed and uh, uh, good meaning, uh, easy to understand, then it's also very good. So in this case, it's not as, as super important to have many mentions, but it, it helps anyways. Yeah, for sure. So if anyone is watching this, we hope you like um, the information with regards to query fan out on LLMs. So, uh, today I'm joined with Sergi. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Cheers.